Yo, what's going on my people? Welcome back to the Live Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. It's the host himself, Ted Talk Money, coming back at you to tell you something. This time we're going to be talking about XRP today. As you guys can see right here, the SEC has announced that there is going to be a XRP buyback plan for point zero 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 one per token confirming the fears of the community that the u.s government will confiscate people's xrp and force to buy it back while well, the sec has announced their buyback plan monday for you guessed it worthless per xrp we think it's a fair market value says chairman gary gensler as you guys can see this is coming out from xrp the standard productions pretty much go ahead and give him a follow if you want to hear about more xrp uh satire when it really comes down to it you guys can see it xrp buyback sec at the time of this recording guys you could see that xrp is kind of a uh, uh, melted down some of those profits it was you know making yesterday you guys can see that the community saw was on a bit of a pump you guys can see it's you know consolidating down right now uh right now at the time of this recording xrp is at 36 cents um of course where we would recommend if you guys want to get some xrp if you've been having problems with kyc and whatnot there is a link in our description of course for mexi mexi is a great place uh to get your xrp um uh, if you've been having problems with um kyc at certain exchanges use our link now next right here i want to show you all sec uh rip sec versus ripple this is the sec's strongest argument again about xrp says john deaton so the sec has this argument against ripple and xrp but here's the catch so dig this john deaton of course the pro crypto activist in the xrp community has offered a counterpoint in the document uh in the sec lawsuit against ripple the claim is that since the crypto company relies on xrp sales to support its operation and capital and capital expenditures it demonstrates common interest with crypto holders and give them the impression that the prices of xrp will go up as a result of ripple's efforts he turned around and said there is no doubt one of the strongest general arguments the sec has more specifically uh compared to xrp sales to fund the business etc but how does the evidence go to establish the common enterprise factor what's the common enterprise so the SEC claims this information as proof that Ripple and XRP are a common enterprise and that the cryptocurrency is a security. The argument is further supported by the fact that Ripple offered uh, exchanges compensation for listing XRP, which according to the Howey test used by regulators to determine security sta status, that makes them that also makes them a common enterprise. So, of course, guys, let us know in the comments how you feel about all that. Of course, we have people that are, you know, on the fence, uh, really, where there be will there be clarity, our personal opinion, XRP. XRP will continue to rise and move. Uh, Ripple will continue to do their business. XRP will continue to be prevalent. Now, this is coming out from CTO Joel Katz himself, David Schwartz. He's talking on this whole Flare XRP uh, situation. Obviously, if you were a XRP holder, had your XRP that you've been holding, you know, since December of 2020, well, you could see that there's actually been a certain proposal that was put out there that would really determine the future of Flare and really, of course, your XRP. So I'm speaking to the XRP holders that have really been here since 2020 and you guys have been wondering about this flare thing david schwartz cto of ripple of course your xrp tech brain said that the current flare holding rules for airdrops leave absolutely no incentive not to sell your flare now you lose nothing if you sell he said while it's true you won't get the subsequent airdrops you do not lose them you get 100 percent of their value when you sell your flare since the buyer can wrap that flare and get the airdrops so um, I want to show you guys this uh, David Schwartz CTO of Ripple. He was saying all the elements are now taking Google has earth. Apple has air. Amazon has fire. Well, Ripple has water. Long story short, guys, uh, David Schwartz has pretty much been doing a lot of tweeting, a lot of tweeting um, and whatnot. He goes on to really tell you all that I feel bad saying this about uh, flair i love the project and want the best uh for it and want to believe the best about it but my honest opinion is that they leverage the xrp community to grow and weaken their promises drastically when they felt they didn't need it anymore so that's the thing guys of course we've seen that happen so many different times you have the solo genic community you know flair basically taking on the honest good folks of the xrp community but a lot of xrp people are really waiting for a pump waiting for something good to happen for themselves so uh 
something to look forward to, something interesting. What the proposal really, when it comes down to what XRP holders, XRP people are really wondering, is this new proposal, what it really has to do, how will it affect XRP? So the general idea over time, leveling the level playing field for all, thus incentivizing non-airdrop participants to enter and engage with the network. You can see right here that the actual proposal was originally posted in August of last year. So the XRP community has known about this, but to, to learn a little bit about it, to allow Flare to thrive, the token distribution, which was designed to build participation from a single community, that's the XRP community, with a single utility needs to change, such that it offers participants from any chain and new entrance to the space an equal chance to become a participant in the ecosystem and grow. So obviously, you know, people now, XRP holders have their Flare, they're, they're able to, you know, uh, vote on these kinds of things. Long story short, guys, basically what you have from it for XRP holders, what a few people have been taking out of it is this. This proposal is theft. They're, they're, the people who bought XRP before December 2020 with the knowledge that they will be getting one to one flare, these people were cheated and now have to go an extra step to get their flare. I am one of them and I hate it because I'm supposed to use services I do not trust to wrap. So guys, of course, like I'm saying, guys, let us know in the comments if you have any XRP and you ended up getting some flare. Uh, my personal opinion, man, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I agree with this statement right here. I've had my XRP receive my airdrop and I thought I was going to be getting one to one spark. Now, of course, it's flare. You get what I mean? Regardless, though, you can see that this this price has dumped uh, throughout it. So obviously, we're going to talk about that uh, with the XRP community. But really speaking on theft, guys, I want you guys to keep this in mind. Get your crypto off of the exchanges. Really want you guys to understand. We have a link in the description for a decent wallet. I uh, want to share a few things about it, why you would consider getting a decent wallet. Hack proof, secure chipping. I mean, there's a microprocessor in there that will keep your private keys safe, sensitive data safe of course you have a built-in security mechanism that's already there this this biometric security is the business of uh, fingerprint authentication this this cool four button navigation of course timing and whatnot guys really really do recommend a decent decent wallet there's a link in our description if you're interested in getting yourself some of course if you're keeping your xrp on exchanges and whatnot you can really store all your xrp on this decent wallet really love my decent wallet holding xrp xdc xlm all of that over there on this side go ahead and use our link in the description now right here coming out from ripple van winkle xrp news basically was putting out there a xrp accumulation pattern uh there's you can see right here two targets that ripple uh, ripple van winkle was putting out there you guys can see right here this was the first accumulation pattern that happened around here you guys can see then that moved into accumulation pattern two which rose all the way up right here you guys can see this is back in 2017 these are accumulation points but you can see that this thing um he, he has it projected all the way out really to 2025. If it were to to copy its previous patterns, you guys could see here that we just might be having a big rise that might happen a little bit before 2025. But basically, long story short, if this were to actually follow with this similar accumulation pattern, again, guys, you could see that there will be a fifth one there for a complete upside to about 62 bucks. Of course, guys, you know, target one is that $10 region and then target two would be your uh, 60 dollar xrp region as well of course you have them haters out there to like well do you understand how much market cap will require and that's what this guy ripple came back and said this is 2023 why are you still talking about market cap and that is a fact guys obviously you know that was the way to control people to understand how you can manipulate these prices you have your market caps to really put you into a different sentiment for your xrp now uh jungle inc he was putting some things out flares price didn't tank he's speaking to the xrp community here flare price didn't tank it had no price until launch ious were thinly traded was a were a thinly traded market and meaningless and that's a fact guys what we were going over with you all before with all our xrp holders is that everything before this this launch everyone thought that flare was going to be about 54 cents right but you guys can see here its current market cap is not insignificant for a young blockchain two days old. So the point I want to say to my XRP holders that are listening, Flare still has a utility mechanisms, but just like Sologenic, they leverage the XRP community. And now as soon as they're able to get engagement to build on it, they're basically saying right here in this proposal that, well, you know what? Let's open this thing up for everyone. This started with one XRP community, but now we need to open this thing up to everyone 
Uh, I'll try to leave a link in the description so you guys can learn a little bit more about it. But for the XRP holders, uh, again, this is saying this proposal substantially lowers inflation, reduces long term supply, meaning those that participate would end up with a meaningfully larger share of token ownership that they would have more tokens with fewer in circulation. And basically what they were telling XRP holders here is that. Um, and they said, as far as I know, every month there will be taken three snapshots to calculate how much flare you'll receive. Uh, but if you sell after one month, you'll receive no flare in the next month. Each month is separate. Guys, so of course, if you guys are over there uh, learn, wanting to learn more about the XRP community, go ahead and follow them over on Twitter. This is really what I want to show you guys uh, what everyone was tracking. You know what I mean? You guys can see right here back in January, January of this year, people thought the flare was going to be 50 cents. You know, this is how much, how much it's going to be. Just the IOU once it's released, you know, we can expect one to one. That's going to be a come up. No, you guys can see right here obviously people got to dumping and this was this was actually a ethereum uh iou you know this wasn't even xrp this was ethereum iou but you guys can see right now it's actually bottomed out to its true price okay you guys can see right now currently flare is at a 105 billion 105 billion token supply i appreciate you guys really making it to this part of the video if you haven't done so already please hit that like button hit the subscribe as well hit that bell if you love xrp but i'll holler at you later Peace.